Hey guys, chances are if you are watching this video series, you've gotten to a pretty good place with your Clo3D design skills, but you're still struggling to achieve that next level of realism. I'm going to walk you through the most important things I found when designing in Clo3D that help you take your garments to the next level. We're going to be demonstrating on a basic hoodie model, but these skills are applicable to any garment you could possibly create. So with all that being said, let's dive in. Let's get started by looking at this demo hoodie. As we can see, the pattern is created, the garment has been sewn up and constructed in the 3D space. However, it doesn't look the greatest. There's many reasons for that, so let's get started on addressing them one by one. So the first thing we should do is make sure our clo file is organized and orderly. We can go ahead and lay out the pattern pieces a little bit cleaner, ideally aligned. Um, and this just makes it easier to work with the file and keep organized. You can also give your pattern pieces names if you'd like in the information dropdown, but you don't have to. I recommend in early stages of the project working with the default fabric. Unless if you've already selected a fabric and are very happy with the fabric's properties, go ahead and change your fabric back to the default fabric as we refine this model. One thing you've probably already noticed about this garment is that all of the wrinkles and crevices are very large and jagged. This is obviously hurting the realism of the garment. So one of the first things we want to do is decrease the particle distance. Particle distance is essentially the mesh that makes up this garment. As you can see right now, these triangles are very large. This is going to result in very jagged mesh. If we select all of the mesh and turn the particle distance down to 10 from close default 20, we can see that the triangles get a lot smaller. There gets to be a lot more of them as well. This is going to help not only define the wrinkles, but also make the garment a little bit easier to work with, as we won't have as many issues with fabric colliding with each other and colliding with the avatar. So it is very important in early stages of the project to turn the mesh down to between 10 to 15. As we're finalizing the project, we're gonna to wanna to turn the mesh down between five and eight. Five is a good number typically for smaller pieces like drawstrings or pockets, and eight is a pretty solid number for larger pieces like sleeves and bodices. For demonstration purposes, I turn the particle distance down to five just to show how crisp and clean the wrinkles of this garment get when you have a lower particle distance. Let's quickly set it back to 20 just so we can compare. So this is why you want to never export your garment with particle distance left at 20. The next step when setting up a project file is making sure that you have a reference photo. Having a reference photo is often a very overlooked step because we all know what these garments look like. However, when working in 3D, it's very easy to get lost. And by that, I mean forget how key details are supposed to sit in the real world. So just for example, I'm going to upload a reference photo here to my clo file. If you want to have it on another monitor, that's fine. But just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to have my reference photo right here. When we zoom in, we want to pay attention to the reference photo details, specifically things like how the sleeves sit, how many wrinkles are at the bottom of the sleeves, how straight and stiff are the cuffs and the hem. Look at the seam lines. Take a look at the hood and how the hood folds over and where the hood wrinkles. And all these things are very important to pay attention to in your reference photo because then you can try to reflect those in your 3D model, which will achieve overall realism, but also help you get the look and style that you want for your garment. So now our project file is set up and ready to go. We have our pattern pieces laid out very orderly. We have them named if we'd like. Um, we have our particle distance of the garment lowered to between 10 and 15 while we are actively working on it. We have our reference photo up here, which I'm actually going to delete. I'd rather keep it on another screen. And our garment is sewed up and constructed in the 3D space. So go ahead and jump to the next video and we're gonna continue with leveling up this garment. 